Iron Banner is back for this week's weekly reset, and I'm going to let you guys know what that entails, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcha. If it's your first time here and you enjoy learning all things about Destiny, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So as you guys can tell, the Iron Banner is back, however we're going to get into that in just a few minutes. We are actually going to go ahead and start off with the milestones first. And for this week's milestone, we have Clan XP, which we have to earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, the Crucible, or World Activities. Then we have the Leviathan, which you need to beat the Raid or Raid Lair. Then we have Call to Arms, which you need to win glory by participating in Crucible matches. Then we have your Daily, which is the Iron Banner, and you need to complete three challenges in the Iron Banner. This week's Flashpoint is on IO, and if you do the Heroic versions of this, you can get it done faster. And then we have the Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three. And last but not least, we have the Nightfall. And this week's Nightfall is the Arms Dealer. So, let's go ahead and find out what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. What can I do for you, Guardian? Like always, we are going to go ahead and start with the emotes first. We have Confused. Then we have Floss Dance. Next we have uh, Skedaddle for the uh, wonderful speeder. For the ship we have Mainsail Royal. For the ornaments we have the Symbiosis for the Sturm. Then we have the Beware the Red Legion for the Skyburner's Oath. And the Armor of the Week is for your legs, and for the Warlock it is the Legs of Optimacy, which comes with two mobility and one recovery. Transit perk on this is uh, Mobile Warlock Armor. And then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, as well as Plasteel Reinforcement Mod. Ghost of the Week is Two of Diamond Shell. And this is what it looks like. Then we have your Ghost White Transmat Effect. And the shaders for the week are the Dawn and Dusk. And that's what it looks like. And then we also have Metro Shift. I actually like the look of Metro Shift. I might change to that. And last but not least, we have your Fire Team Medallion, as well as your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard and Gleaming Boon of the Crucible. So for those who may or may not know this, Iron Banner from now on, as of this day, will be 6v6. And we're going to go ahead and check out what gear that Lord Saladin actually has. So he has the normal Faction Rewards gear, as well as the Ornaments. And you can obviously go under these and press preview to find out how to actually get these. And then as for our future weapons, we have Criminal's Dagger, Frostmire's Hex, and Ganora's Axe. But if I am correct, according to Bungie, all of the Iron Banner weapons are available. And I'm just going to assume that the other weapons are drops that you can actually get. Don't forget to visit Cade 6 in order to get those treasure maps. And this week's treasure maps are on IO. So go ahead and buy those for 4,800 Glimmer. And I'm broke, yet again. And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these other videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.